welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Danny here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. It has been a really great month so far and just getting to know so many new people. So if you are new here, welcome. And truly, I appreciate each and every one of you. So those of you who have been here since the beginning all the way to whomever just came today. Thanks really, really, really am grateful for the time that you put into watching me. So what is up for today? Well, I have 10 days left of September and this is about the time where it comes down to what is Danny actually going to finish this month? Well, I'm going to finish this glass of wine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so everyone, I'm getting married in like, I don't know, four weeks from now. Is it four weeks? Yeah, like literally four weeks from right now, I will be celebrating in a rehearsal dinner. Four weeks. And four Fridays from now. Ooh, okay, I have a lot to do. Which means I have taken a lot of time to do those things in order to be done. And now it's like I have so much reading to do because reading is very important to me. Not only for myself, but because I have committed to reading books with other people. And I would hate <laughs> to not finish those Funny reads. <laughs> so let me tell you, I had a very small TBR and I did that very purposefully because obviously with October 10th, right around the corner, I, I, I really have to try to get my stuff done. So thus far this month, I have done more so on the audiobook side. I listened to Mary Poppins. I'm almost done with The Ungrateful Refugee. Um, I am halfway through uh, this Beard book. It's the fourth in the Penny Reed uh, series where it's those Winston brothers. So the audiobooks have been quite nice. I It's nice to continue to do that when I come to and fro from work. Um, on the physical book side, however, that is a little bit more interesting and I have been trying very diligently to keep on top of that, but obviously with getting stuff ready for the wedding, it's been a little bit sketchy. So... <laughs> That being said, remember my TBR was a little bit small um, and this is my status on these books. So for Charlie's book, uh, An Heir to Murder, I actually have made an executive decision that I'm going to vlog my reading of this book. So I'm actually going to pause on this for the month of September and I'm actually going to read this in the month of October after my wedding and I'm going to vlog it because I think Charlie really deserves a good vlog on his book and he might not want to watch somebody reading his book but I'm going to go ahead and do that because he is really awesome and if you haven't already checked him out make sure you jump over to um, Charles Heathcote on his booktube channel. He is just so exceptional and I love listening to him talk about writing. I love listening to him talk about his family and he's just, you really just feel like you're chatting with a friend when you watch his booktube video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause on this one and wa uh, watch it. I'm gonna read it in October and vlog my experience with that. So I will uh, bring that forward in October. So put that to the side. I am doing a buddy read of The Hypnotist Love Story with Emily over at Novel Novels. Right now, I'm really, really not that far in. I'm into chapter five. The nice thing about this book is it's a really easy, fast read. And the story is so intriguing that your attention is just like 
caught right away. So when I do sit down to read this, I do read quite a bit um, when I do that. So uh, this weekend, I'm going to plan on really trying to get a really big chunk of this done. Um, and I think I'll be able to because the story is stellar. Basically, it's about this hypnotist who is a woman and she meets this man and on their like fourth date he's basically like hey by the way I have a stalker this woman has been stalking him for for three years three years and nobody's like batting an eye like oh yeah you know I see her she leaves notes on my do my car and I'm just like and then the hypnotist is like intrigued about it and there's a lot of other things that are like really like shock worthy like I'm really liking this book so far and I know Emily is too so I'm gonna really catch up on that this weekend then I am doing a buddy read with a friend of mine from school Jenna and um, we are reading the uh, Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie thank you to Laura from Book Bubbler who has lent me her copy um, I am in up to part two which is the evidence really liking this this is my first experience with Agatha Christie so really enjoying this again another book that is an extremely easy read so I'm going to jump into this this weekend and really try to get far into this so that I can uh, respond to Jenna on our Voxer discussion so that's another one where I'm almost done or almost kind of into the bulk of it then for my book club we are reading Rebecca uh, which I am in I'm uh, up to chapter six I am tabbing because there are uh, very interesting things happening in this I will tell you for all of the hype that this book has on booktube it has been a heck of a time getting into this book I'm like I, it was seriously a struggle it took me like three days to try to read these chapters because it was just not drawing my attention and now that I'm like up to this sixth chapter now I'm starting to be like okay okay I'm liking this so I will finish this of course as well because this is for my book club um, and hopefully I can dive into this more this weekend as well even though I know I have a ton of stuff to do this weekend I'm really gonna try to read <laughs> then uh, of course if you all have been here before you know that Laura from book bubbler and I are reading um, Edward Rutherford's London. Um, we decided we had to tab the second portion. So this first portion was what we discussed in the beginning of the year and we have those videos available if you want to check those out. And then we decided we really need to probably try to make some notes which this is going to literally mean nothing when we get there because we're going to open this up and be like huh why did I tab this? Looks interesting. <laughs> so that'll be fun. We just finished reading the section um, of London's Fire and I gotta say that section was so lackluster like not what I would have expected that to be at all um, but it is what it is. We've been enjoying the the book as a whole and as you can tell we are almost to the end and we will definitely get this done this year. So um, we read this every Sunday night and it's just our designated time and we um, listen to an ASMR during that time and it's just really fun to know that you're reading with a friend and so this will definitely get done but I'm working on that as well. And then, of course, the book you've all been waiting for me to say is my wonderful Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. You can see I have been tabbing here. I am just into the second part, so part two, and if you are following along in the Crime and Punishment uh, read-along, we are going to be doing the next live show of Crime and Punishment for parts two two and three on October 3rd which is a Saturday yeah that's the next one yeah so I got plenty of time to read uh the rest of parts two and three um so exciting we just had our first live discussion or not our first one but the first part um was discussed uh this past Monday yeah that was on Monday uh so I'll link that in the description uh, or in the cards above but this book so basically if you don't know the premise of crime and punishment um it is a book about like class and oh this 
man, like mental health almost too, he basically a crime occurs that just shakes the reader. It's there's so much to talk about. Like, I don't even want to give you any spoilers because it's so effing good. It's so good. Like, I'm surprised I've never read this before because I am just flabbergasted on how much fun I am having reading this book. And maybe it's because of the group of people that we're reading with, but it really is just a phenomenal read-along because there's just so many different ways of reading this um, and everyone is just bringing up so many great ideas and thoughts and it's just it's wonderful so if you're interested in joining us on the uh, crime and punishment read along um, hashtag uh, DOSTCP2020 uh, let me know we have a Voxer group uh, and then uh, there's a whole playlist of um, people's announcement videos and all of that fun stuff so this goes all the way through October so um, you still have time to jump on in so um, very fun so I will finish I'm not finished the book because like I said it goes through October but I will finish the section that I'm supposed to finish for the third so that is what I have going on and if you follow me on Instagram uh, you saw I posted a picture that shows a ton of books of which I'm kind of actually also reading like when I'm not reading those which means that I'm getting distracted because my library is amazing and still allows us to pick things up so I have a few comic books that I was enjoying which I'll also finish. So it still will be a just fine reading month, but I really need to read those books. Anywho, there's always time for wine. But that's all I have to say. I have 10 more days of the month to get all of this done, which means 10 more days of the month means that there's only 20 days left to my wedding. Oh my goodness gracious. It's going to be so fun. I just hope that it happens and that it happens without a hitch, which <laughs> we know that doesn't always occur, but I'm being optimistic. And realistically, no matter what happens, as long as we say I do, that's all I really care about. So until next time, I hope you are reading something great, taking care and staying safe. If you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you do. I'm really excited to chat with you in the comments, so leave a comment below and hit the bell so that you know when all of my videos come through and fresh for you to see. You guys know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye!